James, I know you have strong feelings about this. I mean, how do you feel about Silicon Valley companies getting involved in cyber offense? I'm very worried about it. I think it's uh, the, the way things have been moving. I did a cover story for Wired uh, in July on this. Uh, the problem is the United States is moving uh, further ahead than any other country in the world in terms of cyber warfare. We're the only country on Earth who has ever actually launched a cyber uh, warfare attack, uh, what's known as a kinetic attack, which means you're using cyber not just to you know, uh, eavesdrop on somebody or read what they're typing on, the, uh, on their computer or to erase their hard drive, but to actually destroy physical objects. They did that with uh, Stuxnet, uh, the uh, cyber malware that was uh, sent into the um, uh, Iranian uh, uh, nuclear development uh, facility, their, uh, uh, their centrifuges and so forth, and they were actually able to destroy the centrifuges. Um, so the U.S. is getting into these areas. The U.S. has been getting into wars that they shouldn't be getting into for a very long time, and this is a very dangerous area. Once they got into the, uh, 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 did this uh, Stuxnet operation, um, the Iranians, who had never really bothered the U.S. that much before in terms of cyber, all of a sudden destroyed uh, 30,000 computers uh, of Saudi Aramco uh, and left a burning American flag in its place. And they attacked the uh, banks in New York for a denial of service attack and so forth. So we're, we're launching these wars where we don't know the, the, the end results. And again, the U.S. is the most heavily dependent country in the world on uh, cyber and on uh, 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 the internet and so forth. And so, I mean, we don't need just to be talking about the third person. Do you think, like, investments like Kleiner Perk is, is making, do you think they're endangering? The America? problem is that companies and like I'll let Ted Endgame, respond. yeah, that the companies that uh, they're investing in, Endgame, for example, is a very secret company. I mean, you're not going to get uh, anybody from the investment side or Endgame to talk about that. I met somebody from Endgame when I was writing my article, uh, and uh, the president of the company, and, and uh, after meeting, I said, well, now tell me a little bit about your company. And he says, I can't tell you anything about my company. And what the company does is it uh, specializes in zero-day exploits and other kind of uh, Zero-day exploits. exploits are exploits that haven't been discovered before. In other words, it will go after Windows or something and find some vulnerability that has never been discovered before. Um, that's why they call it zero-day exploit. It's an exploit where there's been zero days that anybody in the company has discovered it. Uh, so they'll develop these weaknesses. Uh, they'll find these weaknesses, and, and then they'll sell them. And right now, it's totally unregulated. So a company like Endgame can sell this uh, exploit to whoever it wants to. Um, so then, then, Ted, what's your defense? I mean, why they, is it OK? Um, they don't. I mean, I know what, you know, well, you're they just don't. You're just saying that. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's by choice that they don't. It's, it's certainly not by regulation that they don't. And, yeah, and how is anybody going to debate this? You, you know, brought up the idea that we should discuss this. How is anybody going to discuss it if you won't talk about what they do? I mean, it's, I'll let it's the just company. catch 22. No, the company is going to get ready to launch themselves. They're not quite ready to launch. And they'll the launch. It'll be a big public launch when they do. It's, well, it's they are. They're, they're, so they are going to, so at yeah, yeah, Endgame is going to come out in public. They are going to discuss it. I mean, I don't want to get side. I like, I like ventures to make sure they launch themselves in the way that there's tons of stealth companies out there. This is one that's been in stealth mode that will become public uh, shortly, actually. Really? And, yeah. Okay. So, uh, and we have here, Endgame and is going to go public. And, you know, maybe they'll sell software, maybe they won't sell software. <laughs>